W I L L I A M. Last name is Costello. C O S T E L L O. Um, yesterday, uh, January 25th, we received uh, multiple calls around 12:30 p.m. about a disturbance occurring in the street at uh, East Slaughter Lane and the northbound service road of Interstate 35. Uh, multiple callers called in stating that there were two men fighting in the street. Um, one was armed with a bat and one was armed with a, a long pole, a stick of some sort. Uh, there is a, a YouTube video that came out um, that uh, people might be familiar with. Uh, in this call, uh, it's still an open investigation. Uh, we're still trying to identify the parties involved. Uh, so right now there's no charges filed uh, as detectives are working through that. Um, road, uh, this brings up the big thing of road rage and uh, we just wanna give some tips uh, for road rage. I know it's hectic driving in Austin. Um, so uh, if you're on the road and uh, someone has road rage or you're feeling like you're a victim of road rage, you wanna remember to um, just keep cool. Uh, don't antagonize the other person. Don't look at them, don't make eye contact with them, don't give them any hand gestures. Um, you know, don't display any weapons, just keep on about your day. If you find that the that act of road rage is following you, uh, that guy is still behind you, he's following everywhere you go, uh, feel free to call 911, uh, that's what we want you to do. Um, we do have a uh, no um, cell phone while driving ordinance here in Austin, but you can make an emergency phone call, and that's what we ask you to do. Uh, so call 911, give the call taker where you are, uh, your vehicle description, what the other um, vehicle looks like, and uh, if you can, who's driving it. Uh, put your hazard lights on so that officers responding in the area can identify you very easily. As you're on, stay on the phone with 911. Um, constantly give them updates of where you are. They'll help the police get to you as quickly as possible. Uh, we ask that you don't pull over because that might, um, might escalate the incident. Um, if you feel the need that you have to stop for some reason, get to a crowded place, either like an HEB parking lot or some fast food place um, or a safe place such as a police station or a fire station. Um, don't ever go home because you don't want that person knowing where you live. Um, so just get to a safe place, call 911, um, and just wait till the police arrive. Any information related to that particular incident, the uh, perpetrators, anybody you're looking for anybody or, or looking to get not, not at, in the public or not at this time um, we're still the detectives are working through identifying all the parties are involved uh, we do ask that if anyone else was out there um, that witnessed this to please call the police department and uh, let us know your side of the story so we can hope to get a clear picture of what happened out there my understanding is one of the people involved underwent some medical attention not long after that, do you not have his name or did he I, not? I do not have his name at this time. Like I said, it's an open investigation, so the detectives are working through. You know, with, without the advantage of cell phones these days, that, you know, nobody would have known about that. Should cell phone users who take something like this do anything different? I mean, these folks stayed in the car, mm -hmm. so they. I would say, mm -hmm. would you like a, you know, I, I would license use, plate number or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't, I would, I would urge uh, citizens not to get involved in a disturbance going on like that. Just be the best witness you can. Uh, just instead, instead of filming, call 911. Let them know what's going on. Because the call, the uh, person that you're talking to on 911 might ask you for a license plate. Might you, and you can blurt out what that license plate is if the guy leaves. Um, and so, especially if you're driving, you don't want to be filming and using your phone. So definitely uh, just be the best witness you can and call 911 if you see something like that happen. Do you discover who these guys are? Are there any possible charges that are either of them? Like I said, it, it is an open investigation, so that is a possibility if it if it go, if they have enough uh, evidence to press charges, but they have to get in touch with all the parties involved first. Thank you. Great. Thank you.